Siram Ram versus Phalanx Goalkeeper. Close in weapon systems and point defense missile systems are the last weapons to engage incoming air threats. Most of the anti air warfare capable ships have a layer based defense system against air targets, and these layers are lined up from the outside to the inside from the longest range missile to shortest range gun. Close in weapon systems are the last layer members and they have no excuse to be unsuccessful. Therefore, while designing a new class of warships, navies make tents and long studies to select the best close in weapon systems, which are considered one of the most critical ship weapons. Generally, proven systems are chosen, yet some navies believe indigenous systems are more reliable. No matter what they choose, the most common question arises which one is better. There are many criteria such as accuracy, range, number of the target to engage and the list goes on to select the best weapon. So, navies choose the most suitable one in accordance with their doctrine, economy and force composition. We compare the most common weapons. Ram and Siram. The Ram is a small, lightweight infrared homing surface to air missile used by the German, Japanese, Greek, Turkish, South Korean, Saudi Arabian, Egyptian, Mexican, and US navies. It was initially intended and used primarily as a point defense weapon against anti ship cruise missiles. The missile is so named because it rolls around its longitudinal axis to stabilize its flight path, much like a bullet fired from a rifle barrel. As of 2005, it is the only US Navy missile to operate in this manner. The rolling airframe missiles, together with the guided missile launching system and support equipment, make up the RAM Mark 31 guided missile weapon system. The Mark 144 guided missile launcher unit weighs 12,736 libras and stores 21 missiles. CRM, a launcher variant equipped with the independent sensors derived from the Vulcan Phalanx CIWS, is installed on littoral combat ships and certain early Vulcan class destroyers. It combines the radar and electro optical system of the Phalanx with an 11 cell RAM launcher to produce an autonomous system, one which does not need any external information to engage threats. Like the Phalanx, CRM can be fitted to any class of ship. The main difference between the two systems is that RAM requires a network combat system to operate. It requires standalone sensors to detect and feed information to it. CRM, like Phalanx, can work independently and even autonomously. It has its sensors and computing to do everything in the mount to employ the weapon system fully. The RAM also houses more missiles, 21 versus 11. Both use the same RAM missile. The main benefit of CRAM is that you can plug and play, dropping it on just about any platform without combat systems or with existing combat systems, and it will work seamlessly because it's independent. Phalanx. Introduced in 1973, the Phalanx is a close-in weapon system for defense against incoming threats such as small boats, surface torpedoes, anti-ship missiles and helicopters. It was designed and manufactured by the General Dynamics Corporation, Pomona Division, later a part of Raytheon. Consisting of a radar-guided 20mm Vulcan cannon mounted on a swiveling base, the Phalanx has been used by the United States Navy and the Naval Forces for other 15 countries. The Phalanx was developed as the last line of automated weapons defense against all incoming threats, including small boats, surface torpedoes, anti ship missiles, and attacking aircraft, including high G and maneuvering sea skimmers. It can fire between 3,000 4,520 mm rounds per minute, 
either autonomously or under manual command. The goalkeeper. The goalkeeper is a touch close in weapon system introduced in 1979. It's an autonomous and completely automatic weapon system for short range defense of ships against highly maneuverable missiles, aircraft, and fast maneuvering surface vessels. Once activated, the system automatically undertakes the entire air defense process from surveillance and detection to destruction, including selecting the next priority target. The goalkeeper has two radar subsystems, one to find threats and another to track and engage them, which operate together to identify and prioritize the targets and engage the highest priority one. The search radar, which can handle up to 18 targets at once, generates a threat picture which the gun system uses to identify and prioritize threats. The system identifies friend or foe functionally to rule out friendly traces. The tracking radar operates to enable quick acquisition on the threat bearing. The dual band system also reduces the effect of clutter which can mask the target at low altitudes. A camera system on the assembly provides a visual fallback for the system operator. The system's reaction time to a Mach 2C skimming missile such as the Russian Sunburn from automatic detection to kill is reported to be 5.5 seconds with the firing synchronized to stop the engagement a range of 1500 meters and ending with a kill at 300 meters. CRAM vs Phalanx CRAM uses an 11 round magazine and Phalanx uses a 1550 round magazine. Both can be reloaded relatively quickly. Both are last ditched close in weapons and if you are using them it's a bad situation. It means either your longer range weapons fail to intercept the threat or you run out of the longer ranged weapons. Both CRAM and Phalanx are very useful. CRAM has about six times the range of Phalanx. The main advantage of CRAM over guns like Phalanx is the range and the computing to put the weapon on target. Depending on the incoming missile speed, CRM can be launched at over 20 miles away and intercept it with a very high probability of kill at around 6 miles. Whatever the math is, the CRM system will launch to kill the target around 6 miles out. Phalanx has an effective range of about a mile. Its kill zone will be within a mile. The problem with the latter engagement is that one mile is very very close to the ship. Even a successful engagement with 20mm rounds, a cruise missile traveling 600 knots could continue kinetically and be dangerous. CRAM vs Goalkeeper It has the same range and engagement benefits over Goalkeeper as it does over Phalanx. The goalkeeper uses a bigger gun than Phalanx, 13mm versus 20mm, that has its benefits and disadvantages. But the disadvantages win out, which is why most navies are replacing goalkeeper. The goalkeeper is big, bulky, and requires more maintenance as well as more cumbersome to reload. All that with negligible benefits in range, 20mm can put up as many runs and do so with better accuracy. The best practice is layered air defense. The best practice is to use a combination of both in a layered self-defense system where applicable. For example, the Nimitz class aircraft carrier will use the enhanced Sea Sparrow missile out 30 miles. If Sea Sparrow cannot catch the target, immediately RAM will have the time to engage after the miss, launching at between 20-30 miles and killing 6 miles. Phalanx will engage the targets, Sea Sparrow misses, shooting at 3-4 miles and hopefully killing at 1 mile or closer. All three are integrated automatically in the Nimitz class ship self-defense system. 
Why U.S. Navy chooses CRM for the latest warships? CRM is an extremely accurate weapon. Other missiles like Sea Sparrow are more maneuverable. However, accuracy is about more than missile agility. RAM utilizes a three-mode seeker mixing two different sensors. It has its own infrared seeker and radio frequency seeker link. The CRAM incorporates mount sensors that update the missile constantly with both a very high resolution radar and its infrared and optical aid of the Block 1B. RAM is extremely effective against stealthy non emitting anti ship missiles due to the performance of its infrared signal. If the incoming missile is emitting active radar that the West majority do, RAM will use its infrared seeker and its radio frequency seeker to home on the missile both visually and by emissions. Conversely, the RAM can accurately guide the incoming missile with just its radio frequency seeker and in an active jamming environment. The CRAM and its launcher sensors make these advantages twofold. RAM's latest version, the Block 2 incorporates a new rocket motor with a more powerful, longer thrust and a 4-axis actuator. It is a steerable bullet with thrust vectoring. Block 2 is infinitely more maneuverable than the original Block 0 and Block 1 missile, which had the propulsion section of the AIM-9 side window. The 4-axis actuator allows for pinpoint and lightning fast adjustments. Block 2s have a very high percentage of skin-on-skin -skin intercepts against even supersonic foes. Block 2 has an unrivaled record in testing on subsonic and supersonic targets.